uh, this this phi coefficient uh, for a particular example. So I've got an example here that I want to use. It's a pretty straightforward example. Uh, I've measured I've measured participants uh, on their gender, uh, males and females. Let's say males. So gender had it's dichotomous has two levels. Uh, let's say uh, we have uh, males. If you're male, you're scored as a one. If you're female, you're scored as a zero. Okay, or the other way around. And let's say the second dichotomous variable was whether you held an honors degree or not. Okay, so whether you held an honors degree, and let's say yes was one, and no was equal to zero. And let's say for argument's sake that I undertook uh, an analysis. A sample, a random sample, was selected from a population of students, okay, or of alumni of a particular college, and I captured their gender and also whether they held an honors degree or not, okay. And let's say the results were something like this. Let's say, for argument's sake, the results might be something like this. So we have, let's say, gender down here. Uh, so we might have something like this. So this is when, let's say, x is equal to one. So this is for males. And this is for females, x is equal to zero. And across here, it's your degree type, okay, whether it's an honors degree or not. And let's say we had uh, no, and we have yes, okay. And let's say for argument's sake that I that I captured that of the males, let's say, let's say there was 100 males, okay. And let's say of the 100 males that were surveyed, uh, what we noticed was that, let's say, that 80 of them didn't hold an honors degree and 20 of them did. Okay, let's say for argument's sake. And of the females surveyed, let's say for argument's sake, that was that there was 120 females. And what we noticed was that there was uh, 80 females that held an honors degree and that there was 40 that didn't hold an honors degree. So in relation to our formula, once again, let's just write the formula down here. Phi is equal to, it's equal to the product of the two frequencies in cell B and C minus the product of the frequencies in cell A and D divided by, uh, let's say, A plus C times B plus D uh, times A plus B times C plus D. And it's the square root of that. Okay? Let's just keep in mind that this cell here is cell A. This is B. This is C and this is D. So hopefully what you can actually see is that A plus B is the summation of the fourth row here. So actually this represents, this value here represents A plus B, whereas this here represents C plus D. And down here, this represents A plus C and this represents B plus D. Okay? If we were to sum this column, 80 plus 40 gives us 120. 80 plus 20 gives us 100, which is exactly what we need in relation to the denominator here. Uh, A plus C is the sum of the first column. B plus D is the sum of the second column. A plus B is the sum of the first row. And C plus D is the sum of the second row. So in this situation here, the level, or let's say the magnitude of association, the magnitude of association uh, between between gender and holding an honors degree could be calculated because both these variables are dichotomous can be calculated using the phi coefficient would be equal to phi would be equal to b times c so cell b times cell c so it's going to be 20 times 40 minus cell a times d so a is going to be 80 times 80 Okay, divided by the product of the sums of the columns and the sums of the rows. Okay, so A times C is 120 times B plus D is 100 times A plus B is 100 times C plus D is 120. And keep in mind, it's the square root of that. Okay, so now we have phi is equal to... Phi is equal to well, what have we got here? Uh, we have we have we've got eight hundred here, so that's eight hundred minus well, a, that's six thousand uh, four hundred divided by, and if you look at this product here, so now we, what we've got we have one hundred and twenty times one hundred. Oh, one hundred and twenty times one hundred times one hundred times one hundred and twenty 
gives us the big number. It's 144 million. So that's the square root of 144 million. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay. So now what we have is we have phi is equal to, it's negative. Okay, so it's going to be minus 5,600. Okay, we have 6,400 taken away from uh, 8, 8, 800. So it's 5,600 divided by the square root. Let's get the square root of that number here. The square root of 144000000 gives us a value of 12,000. So when we do the division, uh, we end up with phi is equal to minus. So it's 5,600 0, 0, divided by 1,200. 0, 0, 0 gives us a value of approximately 0 0.47, approximately equal to 0 0.47 to two decimal places, okay? Uh, so like any correlation coefficient, uh, uh, the correlation